Hello, DJ Vic Vapor with you, and welcome to Bitwig Studios Intermediate Course. So hopefully you've experienced or got a chance to watch a few videos, if not the entire course that we have out there, uh, currently Bitwig Studios Beginners Course. Now we're going to move on uh, after having, I felt like we were right at the end of where we needed to be with the beginners course and this is just an introduction to the intermediate course and in this first lesson we're going to start with uh, Bitwig's PolySynth. We're going to create a little synth pad patch here and kind of show you the uh, general idea behind the PolySynth and then we'll uh, move on from there. So welcome to the uh, Bitwig Studio intermediate course and let me uh, open up PolySynth. So we're going over to the browser devices and presets and under the uh, devices here we're going to open instruments and double click and there is the poly synth pretty much bitwig's go-to synth uh, their flagship synth if you want to call it that i guess and when it first opens it's kind of in this you know a general or a initialized state but it, it does have a little bit of variation to it it's not completely set at a normal init or standard uh, setting so let me put a uh, I'm gonna double click here I'm gonna put a clip in get a little sound going and then we'll go through some of this open up this I'm just gonna put something anywhere it doesn't really matter that looks like a good spot. Put the loop on, go back to the synth. So let's hear what it sounds like when it first opens up. Pretty basic. It does have a saw wave and a square wave going there. So like I said, it has a little bit of you know um, variation. It's not completely 100% initialized. And for this lesson, we want to be there. We want to be at a, like a a knit state or a default state to create our own. But before we get started on that, let's take a look here real quick at the uh, presets that the PolySynth and Bitwig offer. So I, I opened up with a little arrow there, and then if you click in this general uh, box here where it says init, you'll get a, quite a large list of presets here different categories, bass, chord, pad, things like that. But they've offered quite a, I mean, that's that's a pretty good selection of presets. And I have browsed through quite a few of those, and there are some pretty good ones there. But let's say we just want to start on our own. We want to create our own. One of the ways we can do that is beneath the uh, init category, we have a uh, preset categories and we want to go to default and like I, I mentioned earlier we now have the sawtooth and the square so let's get this guy I want two square or two sawtooths I'm sorry so one of the ways we can do that is we can grab the shape button and kind of just dial it back or we can just hold the shift key down on our keyboard and double click and it goes right to the uh, zero set there so now we've got our two sawtooth waves and looking at creating a nice pad sound probably want to push the release up a little bit push the attack up add just a little bit of noise here I might have to dial that in in just a second maybe add a little resonance and let's see what we've got there
so not too bad kind of dialing in a little bit of a pad sound there so of course at this point if we choose to we could save by clicking the save categorizing and naming we've gone over that in previous lessons but that is basically the idea of the polysynth and getting you know dialed into maybe like your own sound and how to get it to a default state and dialing in more of a pad sound but what I want to do as we move on into the next lesson is I want to go ahead and explore some modulation and some LFO features and get a little movement to our pad sound to make it a little bit more dynamic so let's move on to the next lesson and explore that